Constance, thank you for taking the time out to join us today. Bring us up to speed on the market expectations in terms of subscription levels and the rates that we're expecting. has been quite low since the beginning of the week. We've seen OBB and overnight rates go as high as 18.5 to 19.5. Um, this is just because the really system liquidity is low. So for the auction today, we expect that rates will come down lower, saying that a lot of the participants are here to bid for the auction. Last stop rates were closed for the 364 days, closed at 9.15. So today we're expecting it to close sub 9%. We're seeing 8.7 to 8.8 .8 around um, those levels that the 364 days will close. The 191 and 182 days have been pretty stable in terms of stop rates. So where we see the demand usually these days is at the long end, which is the one year, 364 day maturity. For the bond market, it's been a bearish market since the DMO issued the calendar to have the, to schedule the auction to hold on Monday, which was supposed to originally be on the 21st before, was moved forward and we now saw um, a bit of bearish uh, resentment in the secondary market. So on Monday, we expect auctions from uh, for bond, and then today is the NCB. Now, but in the last two weeks, how would you summarize the, the kind of action or the trend we've seen on the yield curve? I know investors are constantly on the hunt uh, for higher yields, but how would you just, in the last two weeks, how would you sum, summarize activities on the yield curve? Okay, so on the yield curve, we've seen it downward, especially for the bond side. After the stop rate closed at 137 on the 2050 instrument, and at 30.7 from the DMO, so we saw it trading as low as 13.05 in the secondary market. So um, it's been a bullish uh, moment until uh, yesterday when we saw the calendar for bond. And so I could just term it as slightly mixed sentiments. Uh, and this is just because of the some sort of distance in the um, calendar that we just saw today. No, we're still awaiting the I mean, latest inflation and GDP data. Is the market paying any attention to that in terms of you know, expectations? Has it already been priced into the market? What can you tell us? Okay, so it's been priced into the market already, and the expectation is that um, since it's still coming down, it might just come down slightly from where it was before. Uh, so these things have been priced into the secondary market already, and investors are already well aware of oh. it. Okay, let's move on to the FX market now. Is the CBN any close to uh, closer to... You know, clearing up that backlog that we've had since, I suppose, much, much of 2020 up until now. Uh, any progress? What can you tell us? Well, they've been intervening, that's all I can say, and they've been trying to do what they could do best. So uh, we'll just keep our fingers crossed that eventually all the backlogs will be cleared.